Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to build a T12 soldering station controlled by an Arduino Nano, featuring a 1.3-inch I2 CO LED display that shows the temperature and operating status. This soldering station includes PID temperature control and sleep and standby functions to save energy and protect the soldering tip. This circuit can be used with T1 to soldering tips, as well as high-power HACO TX1 and TX to soldering handles. With its flexible design and stable PID controller, the soldering station works reliably with various types of soldering handles. A small plastic case is used to hold the control board, buzzer, power jack, and the wires connected to the old display and rotary encoder. This design keeps all the components neatly organized, easy to assemble, and well protected inside the enclosure. Now, I'll power on the device. I'm not sure why the old display appears to flicker on camera, even though it doesn't actually flicker in reality. If anyone knows the reason, please leave a comment below and share your thoughts. As you can see, the soldering tip heats up within just a few seconds. I'm currently using an 18 volt input but if you use a 24 volt power supply, the circuit will heat up much faster. The soldering tip easily melts normal solder joints. Now, I'll test it with a larger solder joint. If the tip doesn't have enough heat or the circuit fails to compensate quickly, it won't be able to melt the solder properly. As you can see, the solder joint melts easily and the temperature compensation works very well. I'm sure this will be a powerful assistant for your soldering work. Right after the introduction of my sponsor and partner, JLCPCB, I'll show you the detailed steps to build this soldering station. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, Running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBS for just $5, plus to you Enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the result after one week, the components and PCB from JLCPCB have arrived. The PCB is carefully packaged with a smooth surface, sharp edges, and clear silkscreen printing. The manufacturing quality is excellent with precise holes and clean traces. We'll need the following components, an Arduino Nano, 12 volt and 5 volt voltage regulators, a 1.3 inch old display, a rotary encoder, an LM358 op amp to amplify the temperature sensor signal. You can easily find all these components at local electronic stores or on popular online marketplaces. Assembling the components is very simple. Just follow the markings on the PCB and you'll be fine. 
After soldering all the components, we'll measure the main voltages, which should be 12 volts and 5 volts. The input power supply should be between 18 and 24 volts to ensure the circuit operates stably and efficiently. Next, we'll move on to uploading the code to the Arduino. That's pretty simple, right? The source code will be shared for free with everyone. After uploading the code to the Arduino, we'll mount the Arduino on the board and connect the old display along with the rotary encoder. Next, I'll power up the circuit and introduce some of its main functions so you can better understand how it works. There are two display interfaces, the first one, as you can see now shows the input voltage and the type of soldering tip being used. The second interface displays the soldering tip temperature in large font, making it easier to monitor while working. The temperature is adjusted using the rotary encoder with a range from 150 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius, which is suitable for most electronic soldering tasks. In addition, the circuit includes settings for startup temperature, standby temperature, and boost temperature, allowing you to adjust the soldering behavior flexibly according to your needs. Next is the circuit schematic, which you can refer to for a better understanding of how the soldering station works and how the temperature control system operates. And that's it. We've completed our digital T12 soldering station powered by Arduino Nano and an old display. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss upcoming projects. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.